Hi guys, my name is Dimitri Maromanides, owner of Epic Kites, and today's video is going to be on how to help someone who's in distress with his kite. You know, his kite has deflated, his kite dropped in the water and he cannot relaunch it, or the lines broke or something, you know, wh whatever happens. So when you see someone in distress and you want to help, what to do, okay? So hopefully this, uh, if you follow the steps, this video will help you um, get the other person distress out of a trouble okay so first thing you need to know and you need you want to do is you want to make sure that the person speaks the same language hey milash elenica speak english greek elenas communicate with him and find out if you guys can uh, uh, communicate with each other you know it can be in english french uh, italian chinese uh, spanish whatever you want okay but first of all communication is the most important okay so then once you find out that you guys can communicate then the first thing is you want to let him know is that you're going to help him and you're going to take the kite to the beach okay but first of all he needs to release the bar and uh, release the kite, the entire kite, not only the bar, but also the leash, okay? To release the leash and the bar, everything out, away from uh, from him, okay? Because it has happened uh, once, uh, I tried to help someone, I told him to release the bar, everything, he did, but he had his uh, leash stuck still on, and so when I grabbed the kite and I tried to pull it, it almost ripped my shoulder. So you wanna make sure that everything is detached from his body. Okay, when I tell you, let the kite go, you let the kite go, I'm gonna pull it in, okay? And that's it. Όταν σου λέω άσε το κάιτ, βγάλ το από το τέτοιο, από το λύσι, εντελώς, εντάξει. Όχι τώρα, not now, just wait. So then, the second most important thing is, you want to, before you do that, okay, you want to tell him first what you're going to do, okay, you have to explain him what you're going to do. And then once he understands, then you go to the kite, okay. So, uh, for example, in this, in this uh, situation, the kite is totally deflated. So what you want to do is you want to grab the kite a little bit. Uh, and you can grab it from uh, or from the middle or from the the tip but pretty much it's better to grab it kind of in the middle so it's balanced even if it's deflated okay and then once you have it make sure that all the bridles are away from it away from your hand okay so you don't want to have the bridles wrapped on it because if you have bridles on it and once you stop pulling it it's gonna cut your skin really bad okay so make sure the bridles are away from you okay so once you have the kite secure in your hand okay uh, what i do personally is i like a stopper ball on my uh, on my bar okay because with one hand i can apply the kite so i bring my stopper a little bit closer so with one hand i have fully powered okay and then once i'm ready i tell the person behind to release everything okay let it go everything so i can dive the kite and pull the kite, uh, his kite back to the shore when it's ready i say you know release it and then once you release it, I dive the kite and I start pulling the uh, broken kite back to the beach, okay? Once I arrive to the beach, hopefully there's someone there to, who saw the entire thing that can help you. If not, just go on the beach, put the kite down away from the water, okay? And then go back and uh, see if, if he needs anything or maybe to pull him out, okay? Uh, also, you can uh, drag him or get his board and do the same thing and then, you know, come back and pick him up and all that. Or if it's a good kiter, he can always hook behind you, okay, with his board and you can drag him if it's windy enough, okay? Um, now you're going to say, yeah, but what about if the kite is inflatable? You know, it's uh, inflated, still has air and only the line broke, broke. Same thing, okay? You have to communicate to the person, tell him that, uh, you know, once you grab the kite, you're going to tell him to release the entire thing, to detach everything from his body, okay? But in this situation is you want to grab the kite in the middle. Okay, you want to grab it in the middle where you pump the kite. Right there, it's balanced. Okay, so you come with your kite, grab in the middle, make sure again the bridles are away from you. Okay, because when you start dragging the kite, there's going to be pressure on the lines with the bar dragging also. Okay, so this can cut your, uh, your, uh, your skin really badly. Okay, so once everything is all set, again, with a stopper ball, one hand, because I can fly the kite with one hand. Okay, because of the stopper. Okay, so then I'm ready. I scream again, let it go, everything ready. And then you dive the kite, and then there we go. You have the kite in your hand, you go to the beach and uh, put a kite on the beach, secure it, and then go back and see if he needs uh, help in uh, bringing the board back or him and the board back, okay? So again, it is very easy uh, to do, okay? Uh, but hopefully uh, this video will uh, show you exactly what to do and to be careful with the lines. And hopefully, you know, you'll make a, a new friend.